What's going on guys, it's your boy Farwild and today I've got um I've got some really nice uh, gameplay on Colosseum for you guys to watch and I'm gonna give you some tips. So <clears throat> first of all I'm going for that rocket nade. You may have seen before, if you don't know what you do, uh, I do try and perform this particular trick about three or four times during this gameplay so you are able to see what uh, what I do. So um starting right off I this for Colosseum, it's a really, really difficult map to master, and that's because there are plenty of sight lines, and overall, it, there's quite a lot of open areas where power weapons spawn, which makes it difficult to control. Now, how do you counter this? Well, you keep on your own side of the map. As you can see here, my whole team is standing on our flag, and you may say, well, it's not very fun, and perhaps sometimes playing passive isn't, but to win on Halo 5, the team shot is so real, and... Is that as the team shot is so powerful, you need your teammates to back you up, and by staying on your own side of the map, you can do this. And there are plenty of weapons on in your little base that can actually aid you with this. First of all, there's a DMR towards the left hand side. There's a BR, a BR spawn. So that's automatically two power weapons uh, or long range weapons that you can use. You've also got an SMG for close range. And the DMR, as you can see, has already respawned not too long into the game as I just pick it up there. Also, the bait and switch is incredibly powerful. As you can see, my team uh, pulled this particular trick off multiple times during this gameplay. There's the plasma nade spawn for the rocket, uh, for the rocket nade. So as you can see here, the enemy team are being incredibly stupid. Um, they're not really attacking as a team, pushing one particular area. They're sort of just all going, all going like um, individually. Now here's the rocket nade. You stand in the corner, look between those two things, and throw it. Now, as you see, that actually picked up before I actually got to throw the nade. But luckily, uh, my teammate Dean or Ninja actually manages to uh, pick off that player. Now there are multiple game players I've had on Colosseum, and even if you don't get the nade, uh, if you don't get the rockets, if the enemy team are going for the rockets and your nade isn't particularly perfect, it can still go over the top and get a stick. I've had many a time where I've thrown it maybe a little bit off, but it's managed to come over the top and do a lot of damage, get them one shot, and then clean them up with the pistol, which of course is another weapon that you can use at distance. Now, as you see there, that was me pushing a little bit too far forward onto the bridge. I don't know why it's changed uh, player there, that's a bit stupid. Yeah, so that was me pushing a little bit too far forward, um, and so I wasn't able to get the, uh, yeah, I was putting myself in a danger position pushing too far forward. This is the furthest I come forward in the game to pick up the sniper rifle, and um, as is the furthest I actually go forward. Now, the sniper, obviously, uh, really good, especially if you're trying to play passive, because you can control the bridge area, and... Uh, uh, you can push the bridge, you can control rockets as well, the rocket spawn is really nice and the enemy team are currently afraid to push forward which means that it was a free sniper rifle for the taking and of course the scatter shot spawns in bottom mid if your team can go and get that, that's a very good weapon if you're trying to play that passive sort of style that in the end actually wins in Halo 5 Guardians as you can see here, current scores 27-9 to 9. absolutely destroying this team, they're not standing a chance now uh, I actually choke really hard on this triple kill, uh, on the overkill here. I see rockets about to spawn again. I get a really nice quick scope triple. And then the overkill is on the rocket spawner. It's probably the easiest snipe of the, all of them. And I actually mess it up. And I go for the nade again. Unfortunately, again, it's unsuccessful. I don't actually line it up. It's easiest to line up with the pistol. But I do get, as I said earlier, that long range sticky grenade, Hail Mary which was me putting pressure on the rockets and our team is able to secure the rockets and automatically that's two dead just from me throwing nades towards rockets from that nade spot which is exceptionally powerful um, yeah so even if the nade isn't perfect you can still exploit it now uh, because our team is all back defending we can retain the power weapons and pick them off from distance as you can see here using the magnum Two good use. One's running down the on the left hand side, and I try and I clean up with the SMG, which is actually really powerful. If you uh, don't underestimate it, it beats the AR at close range. Very, very good. Now, I mean, pushing, uh, playing passive, 
it requires teamwork. That's no lie. You're going to need to be in a team of two or three. And hopefully, if you're on a three, or a three or four, sorry, and if you're in a three, the um, your random teammate will notice that none of your team is pushing up and we be able to stay with you. There's another example there. Me using a DMR, running out of ammo, switching to the BR, and still able to uh, fire uh, from distance. Me getting hit markers on the rocket spawn again. I mean, none of our team is particularly pushed too far up. Here we have Night Ninja on the right-hand side. Has pushed up as far as anyone has been this game. And, I mean, with the competitiveness of Halo 5, it may not be fun... No, well, no, it may not be fun, like, in terms of aggressive playstyle, but you do get the win, and in the end, because of the way 3 for 3 have designed this game, getting the win, especially on a competitive map, such as Colosseum, is key. Now, fourth time lucky, throws the nade, I actually land this one perfectly this time, and I get that amazing Combat Evolved medal. Sounds so nice. And uh, that's coming towards the end of the gameplay, guys. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. Using the rockets to good use here. That's why they're important. Get assassinated at the end, but that won't matter. We win the game. Uh, I got 18 kills, 4 deaths. Not bad at all. That's all from me, guys. Like, subscribe, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.